Hello again, Roy Zesh here with Coldwell Banker Legacy in San Angelo. Today I want to talk to you about something a little bit different. It's kind of just something that happened with me and a new certification that I got. And I recently completed all the requirements and took the test to get my broker's license. So I did a video a while back on the different titles in real estate and what they mean. But basically the in Texas, a broker's license is required to be able to supervise other agents. So as a broker, I can either be a supervising person in my office, I can basically supervise other, other agents. A, a standard real estate license requires a broker above them to, to supervise. And so it also gives me the ability, if I ever chose to do that, to go ahead and open my own office and go out on my own and do, do something like that and have other agents working for me. That's not in my current plans, but it's just kind of something I want to talk about a little bit today and why I did it and what it means. And, and uh, ultimately, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a, a certification. It, it's, as far as the practical day to day, it really doesn't make a lot of difference. But there were some additional classes I had to take as far as the development to, to get it more so than even the normal continuing education that every real estate agent is required to take. And then I had to take a test and prove that I knew, you know, what, what was on the test more or less. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a value in that way and it's a value to my clients because it does, it establishes a base of, of knowledge that I have that not everyone has. But, you know, there's also people that don't have a broker's license that have been selling real estate a lot longer than me and know things I don't yet. So it's, because it's a constant learning process, that's always going to be true. So uh, it's kind of like if you think about a master plumber or master electrician, you know, you start as, as an apprentice and then a journeyman and then a master. And in real estate, there's really only the two levels. There's a real estate agent or the broker. So anyway, from, on a day-to-day -day basis in the short-term future, it's really not going to they're not going to make any difference in the in the day-to-day -day operations. But if I ever chose to uh, to go out on my own, start my own office, and have a Roy Dot Real Estate separate office, I I could do that. I have that that ability, that legal ability to do that in the state of Texas. And uh, or if you know Coldwell Banker Legacy said, Hey, wait, Roy, we want you to be our broker of record for our Texas offices. You know, our our Coldwell Banker Legacy office, we've got three different offices in Texas that are overseen by a broker as required by, by Texas law. And those, those offices are in El Paso, Midland, Odessa, and, and San Angelo. And so our broker's in, in uh, El Paso, and so she's overseeing quite a lot of people. And, and so there's you know, the potential for something to happen in that. But again, that's not, not really my plans. My plan is to keep selling real estate, doing the things I'm doing. It's just another level of, of establishing my knowledge base, increasing my knowledge base, and then establishing that in a way that's recognizable by the public. So you know that, that I know some things that everybody else doesn't necessarily know, but are those the things you're going to need on this transaction? Maybe, maybe not. So, you know, it's kind of, kind of interesting. And it, it, again, it's, it is a, it's a, just a, it is a qualification, you know, it's, uh, whatever other industries you are, you know, and, and as a pilot, I, when I got my, you know, there's a private pilot's license that allows you to fly yourself. There's a commercial pilot's license that allows you to be paid. And then there's the airline transport pilot license that enables you to go fly airplanes uh, for the airlines and stuff like that. And I actually hold an ATP license as well. So, you know, it's, I've never flown for an airline and don't ever intend to. So it's one of those things that, that it's something to have in your pocket, but it, it, it opens some more doors. It opens some more possibilities in the future and who knows what the future holds. I mean, obviously the world is in a fairly substantial state of flux right now and you don't know where, where things are going. But anyway, that's kind of the, the highlights of what the broker's license is and, and why I did it. And, you know, again, it's just the flexibility going forward to be able to do some things different if I choose to, or just if I don't choose to do things different, just having a, a better knowledge foundation under me. And so anyway, that's kind of the highlights of it. If you got any questions, give me a call. Roy Dot Real Estate, 325-268-0775. Thank you.